China's crackdown on Muslims in Xinjiang province has spread to Ninxiang, sing singling a hardening in Beijing's management of ethnic and religious groups. Authorities began a security clapdown in Xinjiang last year, detaining or detaining at least one Muslim Uyghurs or one million Muslim Uyghurs in, in intermittent centers, a move that has drawn international condemnation. China's leaders said the detentions were necessary and have recast them as vocational education facilities. Efforts by Beijing to broaden its control over China's ethnic minorities were highlighted last week when Ninxiang signed a country or a counterterrorism cooperation agreement with Xinjiang. Shan Yong Sheng, a senior Ninxiang party official, has praised Xinjiang's counterterrorism efforts, calling on his province to better integrate with Xinjiang and to strengthen the deep cooperation between the two places in anti-terrorism, anti-terrorism, social stability, and ethnic religion. Mr. Zhang's entourage last month visited an intermittent center in Urumqi, the provincial capital, as well as two Xinjiang prisons, according to the Legal Daily and newspaper managed by the Communist Party's Political and Legal Commission. The high-level exchange has paved, paved the way for the export of Xinjiang's techniques to Ninxiang, home to the largest concentration of the Muslim Jews, one of China's largest ethnic minority groups, numbering more than 10 million. Even before the agreement, there had been tight religious restrictions in, in Ninxiang. This summer, residents in Waizhou gathered in a rare protest over the planned demolition of the city's recently completed Grand Mosque. Religious clashes for children have been suspended region-wide since February, while Islamic symbols and halal signs have been removed as part of a campaign to Sinsia's Islam.